If you're feeling rushed, stressed and pressured, well that's pretty much the norm for most of us. We dash about trying to complete a never-ending to-do list and we berate ourselves for not crossing enough off. Our next guest says that that way of living is not helping our health, our happiness and our productivity. Dr Chantal Hofstay is a clinical psychologist who teaches research-based mindfulness. Chantal, welcome. Firstly, explain to us what exactly is mindfulness? Mindfulness is training your brain to think in a different way and that makes a big difference because how we think directly impacts how we feel and when you want to reduce stress uh, mindfulness can be really helpful. Okay so it's all about training your brain so feeling stressed can actually trigger a physical response in your body can't it? Feeling stressed is just part of a bigger stress response and it's the thing that we notice very quickly um, but it is part of the whole stress response so it, it goes hand in hand with um, increased blood pressure, blood sugar, um, change in breathing, heart rate, all those symptoms that um, happen when you're feeling stressed but feeling stressed that's usually the thing that people want to change. And that's that feeling when you just feel tense and really uncomfortable. Yes. This can be going on for quite a long time though can't it? it they're not necessarily short bursts of feeling stressed is it? It can be a long-term problem. Absolutely and stress is designed to be short-term. It's designed to get you to safety when there is a threat and that is what it does best but when you have ongoing levels of stress whether it's high stress or low stress the ongoing stress is actually really harmful. That's the problem isn't it? So in the older days I guess it's like there's a lion it's chasing me quick get to the cave. Exactly. That sort of stress is good stress. Yes. But the ongoing ones we have now like our email, our inbox is too full, I don't spend enough time with the kids, those sort of stresses they're not good stresses. Absolutely because exactly like you say back in the day it was running or fighting so when you're running from the lion you're using up all that energy that stress is producing when you're sitting behind your computer and you have that same response but you're not moving that's when the stress becomes toxic. We're just getting tightly wound up so can we retrain our brain to change the way that we deal with stressful situations? Absolutely research shows that it takes about six to eight weeks of mindfulness practice for the brain to really physically change. So what sort of things do we need to do? Um, you can do it in a lot of different ways, but I recommend really simple, really small changes. And in short, mindfulness is paying attention with kindness. And you can do that anytime, anywhere. Paying attention to your breath, paying attention to driving your car, paying attention to drinking your cup of tea or your cup of coffee, paying attention when you're playing with your children, actually being there doing what you're doing with attention and with kindness. So take a moment and smell the roses. Yeah, exactly. What about breathing? How important is that? How should we be breathing? Well, there's lots of different theories out there, but ideally your breathing is quite deep and what mindfulness does actually is it, it helps you to focus on your breathing. So focusing on your breathing is just one way to practice mindfulness and what it does it sort of takes you out of your head when you get stuck in worries and, and stressful thoughts. It can take you out of your head and sort of focus on something else. And then just making sure that you breathe deeply can reduce the stress and then when you get back to what you were stressing about you can look at it, look at it from a different perspective. You're making this sound quite easy. I can't understand why we're all so stressed. Well, it, it is easy and it isn't easy. Um, the techniques are super simple. The hard thing is that you have to practice them consistently to really get on top of that stress response. What about meditation? Uh, should we be meditating? I don't have time to do anything for like an hour a day. Me neither. I don't have time to exercise for that time, the amount of time. <laughs> I'm the same and I mean meditation is great but it's not for everyone. Mm -hmm. But everybody can practice mindfulness. Like I said, you can practice it on the go. That's why the book is called Mindfulness on the Run. You can practice mindfulness as you are washing your dishes, as you are commuting to work. And that way it doesn't actually cost any time. It's just about learning a new way of, of doing those things. And you can do it for one or two minutes. Okay, so what can we do right this instant to start practicing mindfulness and to start living in the present? Well, what, what anybody could do right this minute is just take five seconds to focus on your breathing. Just notice your breathing as it is. There's no need to breathe in any particular way, but just notice it as it is and try to notice it with kindness. Okay. 
That's a great amount of advice. Chantal, thank you so much for joining us. And for more advice to help calm your monkey mind and reduce your stress levels, look for Chantal's book, Mindfulness on the Run. It is in bookstores and on her website, drchantalhofstay.com. And we have signed copies for everyone in the audience today as well. So well done, you guys. You're going to be nice and calm.